the falciform ligament divides the liver into two lobes the right lobe and the left lobe this ligament extends from the supra umbilical part of anterior abdominal wall to the anterior part of diaphragmatic surface of the liver that is superior border between the right and left lobes at the liver the peritoneum forming the right and left layers of falciform ligament separate and cover the right and left lobes of the liver the inferior or free edge of falciform ligament contains the ligamentum teres the obliterated part of the left umbilical vein at the superior part of the diaphragmatic surface the peritoneum covering the right lobe of liver turns up to form the superior layer of right coronary ligament similarly the peritoneum covering the left lobe turns up and continues as anterior part of the left triangular ligament coronary ligament the coronary ligament is formed by the reflection of peritoneum from the right lobe of liver to the diaphragm the two layers of the coronary ligament are the superior and inferior layers form the boundaries of the bare area of the liver trace to the right the two layers of coronary ligament meet at the right triangular ligament triangular ligaments there are two triangular ligaments right and left the right triangular ligament extends between the right lobe of liver and the diaphragm it is continuous with two layers of coronary ligament the left triangular ligament extends from the superior surface of left lobe of the liver to the diaphragm ligamentum venosum the ligamentum venosum lies at the fissure by the same name between the chordate and the left lobes of the liver it is obliterated part of ductus venosus lesser omentum this double fold this double fold of peritoneum attaches the lesser curvature of the stomach and the proximal duodenum to the visceral surface of the liver the attachment to the liver is l shaped the vertical limb of the uh, l lies deep in the fissure of the ligamentum venosum the horizontal limb of l surrounds the porta hepatis and structures which lie in it are terminal branches of hepatic artery portal vein and the right and left hepatic ducts lymph vessels and nodes and nerves